Welcome on, welcome all to the University of Fort Lauderdale Baseball. I am your host, Monty Perez, a.k.a. the Sports Whisperer. I want to thank everyone for tuning in today. What a matchup we have between the number one ranked UFTL men's baseball team, number one ranked in the NCCAA against New College of Florida, the Mighty Banyans. For those of you who don't know, University of Fort Lauderdale was just ranked number one. We've been ranked number one all season long, pretty much, with a 29-5 and record. Let's get to the starting lineups. Let's get to the starting lineups. And before we do that, make sure to give the thumbs up on this particular broadcast and subscribe to our YouTube channel. For New College Mighty Banyans, it's been a tough season for them so far, but they did beat us last week. They split the doubleheader. They split the doubleheader against us, which, you know, we were not happy about. But when you're 29 and 5, no one goes undefeated. They are 11 and 19 on the year. Let's get to their starting lineups in third base Peterson, left field McIntosh, center field Joe Meski. De designated hitter is Merck. Garcia plays right field. The catcher, Aparicio, the second baseman, Canonis. Number 35, the first baseman, Bishop, and the shortstop is Fortis. Number 43, Griffith is the starter today, the pitching starter today. Again, they are 11 and 19 on the season. 11 and 19 on the season. And your University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles are 29 and 5. 29 and 5 on the year. And let's get to your starters for the University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles real quickly. Eric Scott leads off. Andolin Kubalete bats second. Chris Martin playing third. Ryan Reifenberg, the All-American in right field. J.D. Tidd plays first. Eli Wilhelm is in left field. The golden arm, Brandon Riera behind the plate. Moises Garcia is playing second. Gabe Manguel playing center field today. And the pitcher, Brandon Milan, has an ERA of 3.37. Again, the University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles looking to go to 30-5. and five. We talked about this yesterday on the softball broadcast. Congratulations to Coach Billy. Softball team swept the new College of Florida yesterday in the softball game. Took both games 7-0 and 7-3. 7-1 to and 7-3. So we're looking to duplicate that feed here as Brandon Milan gets us started. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles in their home white and maroon and the Mighty Banyans in kind of their blue and dark brown UPS uniforms, maybe. Ball on on the outside. One. Oh, one count. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles, again, in their home white. Some clouds here, but don't think it's going to rain. Just very windy right now. High strike, one and one. Have some new features that we will be displaying. Uh, some new stuff here. Keep a running tab of what each batter does for the University of Fort Lauderdale. Nice little curveball there. Make it a one-two count. For Peterson, the third baseman. For the mighty Banyans. Ball two. Two and two count. Pearson's batting 273 on the season. Foul back and out of play. Still 2-2. Two, two. Peterson is batting 273 on the year. McIntosh up next, number 67 seven is their best hitter, batting 337 on the year. Sun peeking its head out. Got a warm day here. Just very windy. Payoff pitch. Oh, Mr. Umpire, ring that up, please. Got a perfect angle here. Standing behind home plate. Three and two count. We all thought, including the bench, that was call strike three. Ground ball to second. Should be an easy play. One down here as Peterson goes 0 for 1. And that'll bring up 
Josh McIntosh batting 373 on the year, 19 RBI, number 67. Nice play there by, by Garcia, who's playing second base. Swing and a miss, strike one. I don't know if I really like the Banyans uniform or I hate them. I, 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 there's no in between. It's, it's either one or the other. Min's, Billy's wife says she hates them. They kind of, I'm trying to think who they look like. <laughs> they look, I mean, it's, it's like light brown and blue. Not a good combo. I do like the blue on the uniform. Swing and a miss. Took something off that one. One, two count here. One out. Top of the first, if you're just joining us, make sure to give us a thumbs up on YouTube. Spent the last 24 hours trying to figure out our internet problems. Thank goodness my great, great ancestor ran into Albert Einstein at a mall one day, shared that story with me, and it made me smarter so I could figure it out. When you touch and come in contact with smart people by osmosis, you get smarter. So I figured it out. Hopefully there won't be any more internet problems. Oh, outside. Makes it once again a 3-2 count. 3-2 three and two to the first batter, and now 3-2 and two to McIntosh, who is their best hitter. Batting 373. And he walks him. Nice piece of hitting. Nice at bat there by McIntosh. Brings up number 23, Rylan Jamoski, batting 319 on the year. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles. Been an impressive start to their season, impressive middle. Now we're kind of in the back nine of the season. Still have some injuries that we're waiting on. Uh, you know, still not sure about a couple players. But we are battling next man up mentality. Nice pitch there. Curve on the outside corner. One and one. McIntosh doesn't run that often, but he's been pretty effective when he does. Three for three and stolen bases on the season. Nice fastball there. Hits the outside part. Love the way uh, Brandon's working despite the two, three, and two counts. He's working Rather quickly, one two count now. One out here in the top of the first. Foul back and out of play. Got Shaq, the cameraman, going for that ball. Shaq's got some skills. Don't let his quiet temperament fool you. He gets it done. Throw over to first, nothing doing. Modest lead again. Josh McIntosh, three for three. Three stolen bases, three attempts. Doesn't run often. Ball in the dirt gets away from Brandon. Really had no chance of that one. That one bounced way before it hit home plate. To make it a 2-2 count, University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles ranked number one. In the NCCAA. And the University of Soft Lo University of Fort Lauderdale softball. Ranked number nine. Just saw Katie Atkins. You should see she gets hit like Chris Martin gets hit. See the bruise on her leg. It's about the size of a softball because it is. That's where she got hit. On the outside corner, makes it a 3-2 count. Got to give some credit to the new College of Florida baseball team working the count each time. And I will say this, they have to, despite their 11-19 and 19 record, they have to be playing with some confidence because they beat us last week. We split the doubleheader. So guys were chomping at the bit to get back and play them. Way to stay alive here. By number 23, Ryan Jamisco. Again, batting 319 on the year. He's walked 23 times, so obviously has a good eye.
Swing and a miss, another strikeout. Two down here. Brings up number 63, Matthew Merck, batting 263 on the season. One home run, 10 RBI. Runner on second here with our pitcher, Brandon Milan. There's a shot up the middle. Going to see if they're going to send them. They are sending them. Throw is going to be cut off. RBI single for Merck. Merck drives in a run. Hey, this new College of Florida is not going to be intimidated by us. New College of Florida, give them credit coming in here. There's a shot. Ryan Reifenberg going down the line, going down the line. Foul ball. That was to the furthest part of the right field line. Just curved foul. About a foot foul. Number 15, Matthew Garcia has only started nine games of batting 313. Ball in the dirt again. That'll get away from Brandon again. Had no chance of stopping that one. Wow, Brandon's got a gun. See that throw to second? Won't be shocked if. Uh, Brandon gets another hitter on if we see uh, Coach Justin go out and talk to him, maybe settle him down, maybe a little too hyped up early on here. Coach Justin has a great feel for this pitching staff. Coming off an injury. He's playing softball, and he pulled both his hamstrings. <clears throat> so it will be a slow walk to the mound. Ground ball up the middle. It's going to score another run. It is now 2-0. RBI single for Garcia to make it a 2-0 lead. Let's see if Coach Justin meanders out there. Again, he's injured. Brings up number 97. Aiden Aparicio batting 231 on the year. University of Fort Lauderdale trailing 2 0 early on. Bounces the ball. Going to try to chest Brandon's arm. Nice throw. And he just avoided the tag. Garcia grabbed it, but the momentum carried him to the left side, third base side of the base. And a nice slide there by Garcia to avoid the tag. The throw was in time. Foul down the third baseline again. Aiden Aparicio batting 231 on the year, playing the catcher today in the first game of the doubleheader. We have a second game of the doubleheader probably around 4 p.m. So we will post a link on our Twitter page. Thanks so much for joining us. Make sure to give us a thumbs up. Ground ball sharply hit to Eric Scott. Makes a nice throw, but nice job of hitting, clutch hitting by New College. Mighty Banyans. They take the 2-0 lead going into the bottom of the first. You're watching UFTL live on YouTube. And don't forget, don't forget coming up this Friday, it is senior night.
liberal arts, or ministry? Jumpstart your career today by enrolling at University of Fort Lauderdale, one of South Florida's premier Christian institutes of learning. Whether on campus or through online classes, University of Fort Lauderdale has everything to equip and prepare you for the career you're seeking. We offer associates, bachelor's, and master's degrees in various fields of study through our colleges of business leadership, religious studies, and liberal arts. From Christian counseling to Christian education, from business administration to criminal justice, from broadcasting and theatrical production to information technology, it's all here. And it's waiting for you. Prepare to meet your future head on. Get started on your career path the right way. Financial aid is available. University of Fort Lauderdale, a place where change happens. For more information, visit us at uftl.ed. We're back live here at Davis Field, Oakland Park. Let's get to the starting lineups, batting lineup for your UFTL men's baseball. Eric Scott leads off batting 435. Andalyn Kubalete batting 329. Chris Martin been hit by a pitch 12 times. Got 31 base on balls. All-American Ryan Reifenberg batting 311. J.D. Tibbs, 33 RBI, five home runs. Eli Wilhelm's really bat starting to come alive. Batting 308, Brandon Riera has 12 base on balls, 10 RBI, the catcher, the golden arm catcher. We got Moises Garcia batting 292, and Gay Manguel, 19 RBI, 10 stolen bases, playing center field for Wilbur Javier Vargas, batting 333. Let's bring up Eric Scott going up against their pitcher. Griffith, number 43, is their starting pitcher. Don't have a lot of stats on him. He's pitched in three games. Has a 6.62 ERA. Sharp ground ball to shortstop. Nice play for the first out of the inning. So, again, Griffin. 6.62 earned run average. Only pitched in three games. Adeline Kubalete batting 329. He has 29 runs batted in on the year, having a very good season at the plate. Ball there. Again, Adeline Kubalete really having a phenomenal season. 329, 29 RBI. Another ball there. Makes it a 3-0 count. Inside for a strike to make it 3-1. and one. Again, he's only appeared in three games. Anthony Griffin, but he had actually appeared in six games. 6.62 earn run average. Ball four there. So Kubalete draws the walk, taking a page out of Chris Martin's book. Chris Martin batting 391, 31 base on balls, been hit by a pitch 12 times. No, it's actually more than that. Hold on. Thirty-one walks on the year for Chris Martin. Unbelievable, the amount of patience he has at the plate. Remember, he hit four hundred last year. He's close to that now. Three ninety-one. They pitched to him. He'd probably hit four fifty. Throw over to first to keep Addy close.
Kubalepe, seven stolen bases, only been caught once. Crip Martin questioning the umpire on that strike. I don't blame him. When a guy's walked 31 times, you think he knows what's a ball or strike? I think the best line ever, J.D. Tibbs, our first baseman, who doesn't talk at all, much less to the umpires, very low-key individual. He said to the umpire, I'll give you low, I'll give you outside. He's like, I, I can't give you both. And you just called that a third strike on me. He's like, that was both low and outside. You know when J.D. Tibbs questions the umpire, it's something that he doesn't do often. But J.D. Tibbs, the work ethic paying off for him. Absolutely unbelievable with the bat this year. Five home runs, 33 RBIs, batting 361. Gets up at like 5 in the morning to work out. I thought I was doing good getting up at 6.30. It's got an hour and a half ahead of me. Two and two count to Chris Martin. There's a shot for Mr. 400. Gap. Be first and second. Chris Martin. Nice at bat. Gets a single. Brings up Ryan Reifenberg batting 311, 22 runs batted in, and 24 base on balls. So we have first and second now, threatening here with one out. Ryan Reifenberg, the All-American. Love to get a hold of one here, and he does. Going deep, going deep. Carrion should stay in. Got to the furthest part of the ballpark. Sacrifice fly, Kubalete to third. Ryan just missed that one. Two outs now when we talked about J.D. Tibbs earlier. 361, 33 runs batted in, five home runs. Just the average, the power. We got first and third here, two out. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles trailing two to zero. Throws over to first. Chris Martin has nine stolen bases, 10 attempts. So he too could run outside ball one. Talking to Tibbs and Palacio before the game. Jordan Palacios. Tibbs is batting 361. Palacios is batting 375. Talk about your Bash brothers right there. Palacio was at this softball game, and he was saying that he's a little disappointed in his power numbers this year, but can't be disappointed. I said, your average is phenomenal. I'll take less power and more average at 375, one of the leaders of this team. And that's why Palacios is on the banner for this game. Check out the YouTube banner. I got Eric Scott and Jordan Palacios on the YouTube banners you see on the screen there. Two zero count to Tibbs. Definitely a favorable hitter's count. Got a hold of that. Just foul. Coach Billy didn't even make a stab at that one. Usually he's on top of the ground balls. By the way, fun fact for about Coach Joe. Joe Adair, the first base coach. Give you that fact after this pitch as Tibbs fouls another one. Two and two count. Coach Joe Adair is a diehard fan of the Twilight movie saga. He loves Twilight. He is Team Edwards all the way. He loves the Twilight movie saga. If you see him on campus... Say, are you Team Edward? And he will say 100%, and he'll talk about it for 20 minutes. Loves the saga, the movie Twilight. Ball in the dirt. So, yeah. I'm Team Jacob, to be honest with you, from the living and knowledge I have. But, yeah, Coach Joe has all the DVDs. Has He said he once had, like, 25 shirts 
of the Twilight Saga. So if you ever want to talk to Joe, that's a great conversation starter. Oh, he calls the outside strike for strike three for the strikeout. So the University of Fort Lauderdale, our Eagles threaten, but leave two men on base. Ryan Reifenberg with a blast to left field, just stayed in the ballpark. And J.D. Tibbs strikes out. We're trailing 2-0. to zero. We'll be back after this. In 2006, we founded Yeti Coolers with a simple mission. Build the cooler we use every day if it existed. One that was built for the serious outdoor enthusiasts rather than for mass discount retailers. One that could take the abuse we knew we'd put it through, out in the field and on the water. One that simply wouldn't break. We decided early on that production innovation would come from necessity and first-hand experience, not from market research and data analysis. Today, Yeti products perform when it matters most. Whether that be an excursion into the remote Alaskan wilderness, chasing redfish on the Gold Coast, or just getting together with friends in the backyard, we make gear that helps you stay out longer, travel farther, and live harder. Hashtag built for the wild. Back live here, number 59, up at bat, the second baseman. You notice who is batting right now? Only 182. Two to zero, University of Fort Lauderdale. Got some runners on. Is it a fly ball? And makes the catch. Nice job there by Eli to make the catch for one out here in the inning. Min telling me that Eli robbed them of a home run the last time we played them, and now robs them of the base hit. Strike one. Yes, it is. Bishop now up at bat. Number 35. Batting 229. Swing and a miss. Two and two count. One out here. Foul back and out of play. Definitely windy today. It is sunny, but it is definitely windy. We have the window open here, so stuff's getting blown out all over the place. Low and inside. Foul back and out of play coming right at us. My brother Pete was nice enough to bring me some lunch. I'm going to be here all day. And my dad in the broadcast booth watching University of Fort Lauderdale trailing 2 nothing early on. Pop-up should be playable. Oh, and it dropped. Thought there was a miscommunication there. Between our center fielder and the left fielder, kind of lost it in the sun there in no man's land for the single. 
So one out, one on here in the top of the second. Brings up number 37, Fortis. Batting 282 on the year. Weird playing the outfield. The ball stayed up. And we have so much speed out there. I thought they'd be able to get to it. Eric Scott, who's the flash, was running backwards and it just dropped. I guess it was perfectly placed. Call strike now 0 and 2. Got to give credit to the way the Banyans are playing right now. Again, 11 and 19 on the year, but they beat us last week in a split the double header. They've come out flying today. Ground ball, Chris Morton. Going to try to get the double play. Fielder's choice there. Nice slide by the mighty Banyan. So a fielder's choice for Fortis. Brings up the top of the order. Number 13, Peterson, who's 0 for 1 on the day. Batting 273. Two outs now here in the top of the second. In case you just joined us, we rallied in the bottom of the first, had first and third. Ryan Reifenberg flied out deep to left field, and J.D. Tibbs struck out looking on a controversial call. Eric Scott backhanded, throws it over to second, bounces off Garcia, and now it'll be runner on first and third. Two outs now. Banyan's extending the inning. Brings up their best. Hitter, number 67, Josh McIntosh, batting 373 on the year. Walked his first time up, had an 0-2 count, and took four straight balls. There's a shot into the gap. Carrying, carrying, carrying off the wall. Ryan Reifenberg scoops it up. Going to score one. Going to score two. It is now 4-0. to zero. McIntosh is their best hitter, proving it right there with a two-out, two-RBI double. Four to zero. Don't like the sound of that ball coming off the bat and don't like the sound of a four-nothing deficit. Coach Billy coming to the mound. And that'll be it. For Brandon Milan, pitching change. We'll be back after this. You're watching the University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles live on YouTube. Is you going to the casino? Yeah, I'll give you twenty to burn. How's that? Ooh, me too. Here, what you Okay, 
We're back live here. Deval Rodriguez is the pitcher, number 24, 3.10 ERA. Coming in as UFTL trails, as UFTL trails 4-0. to zero. Again, Deval Rodriguez, now the pitcher, 3.10 ERA. Brings up number 23. Ryland Jomiski struck out his first time up. One ball, one strike, two out, four to zero. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles trailing early on in this one. These Banyards are kind of a pain. Some teams just match up well against other teams. Obviously, the mighty Banyards match up very well against our Eagles. Duvall, high. Three balls, one strike, two outs. Runner on at second. Early deficit here. Don't like that at all. Ball four, he walks him. Brings up number 63, Merck. Matthew Merck batting 263. His first time up. Had a single and an RBI. First and second now. Duvall winds. Nice curveball on the inside corner. Gets ahead of the count. Went around. He definitely went. What? Called that no strike when he went around. So it's a 1-1 count. Obviously, check swing, strike call, but they missed it. Ground ball, extra outs, going to send them. Play at the plate, throws up the line. He may have a chance. He got him. He got him. Out at the plate, Brandon Riera totally deked the runner. Acting like the ball wasn't coming in the last minute, swiped him. That's why he's not only a golden arm, but a golden glove catcher. And what a big play by Brandon Riera. Eli Wilhelm, who robbed them of a home run when we played them on their turf, made a diving catch to save a base hit. The throw was a little offline. Brandon Riera lulled the batter, the runner, to sleep and tagged him out in the last minute. Heck of a play to save a run. University of Fort Lauderdale trailing 4-0, to zero, going into the bottom of the second, and that's why Brandon Riera is so, so valuable. Liberal arts or ministry? Jumpstart your career today by enrolling at University of Fort Lauderdale, one of South Florida's premier Christian institutes of learning. Whether on campus or through online classes, University of Fort Lauderdale has everything to equip and prepare you for the career you are seeking. We offer associates, bachelor's, and master's degrees in various fields of study through our colleges of business leadership, religious studies, and liberal arts. From Christian counseling to Christian education, Education, from business administration to criminal justice, from broadcasting and theatrical production to information technology, it's all here. And it's waiting for you. Prepare to meet your future head on. Get started on your career path the right way. Financial aid is available. University of Fort Lauderdale, a place where change happens. For more information, visit us at uftl.ed. We're back live here on YouTube. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And so often when a player makes a great play in the field, they are the first one to bat. And that brings up Eli Wilhelm playing great left field and batting 308, really starting to get hot with the bat. Coach Billy said it's been so aggressive lately. And there it is, single for Eli. Making plays in the outfield, making plays at the bat. Eli Wilhelm with the single.
Great piece of hitting. Very aggressive with the first pitch. Brings up Brandon Riera. 12 base on balls this year. Takes one there. Eli Wilhelm at first. We've had runners on now in the first and now the second. Let's see if we capitalize here. Two and no count. Brandon pops one up out of play. Confidence must be soaring if you're a new college of Florida. Despite their record of 11 and 19, they're playing us very tough. Eli Wilhelm with a modest lead at first base. Brandon fouls another one off. One, two count. Don't forget, about 30 minutes after this one, we got the second game of the doubleheader. And then Friday night is senior night. Friday night, senior night here. Put up the graphic here for all our seniors. Two and two count to Brandon Riera. Outstanding catcher. Ground ball here, but shortly to the shortstop. He bobbles it a little bit. Throw to first. Not in time. Ball gets behind him, so Brandon will get to second base as Eli did a good job of breaking up the potential double play. Again, hustling down to second base, and Brandon will come out for Gomez, the pinch runner. If you don't know, in the NCCAA, every time the catcher is on, you are allowed to substitute for him. He does not come out of the game, and we have a designated runner, Daniel Gomez. So Brandon with the fielder's choice and then advances on the error. Moises Garcia now up batting 292, playing second base today. As Addy is DHing. Runner on second again, threatening now, University of Fort Laurel, like we did in the first inning. Unfortunately, we were not able to plate any runs. No ball, one strike to Garcia. Nice pitch on the outside corner. I'll tell you, he's got a Griffith's got a rough ERA over six runs a game, but he's really battling. No ball, two strikes. Garcia fouls it off, staying alive. Be interesting to see if, if with one out, if Daniel Gomez gets a big lead and tries to get over to third. Got Gabe Manuel on deck, batting 333 with 19 RBI of his own. Gabe playing center field for the injured Wilbur Javier Vargas. Swing and a miss. Garcia reaches for one. Doesn't make contact. Strikeout. Two outs now. Gabe Manguel. Batting 333. Again, 19 RBI. I would love to get a single here with Gomez's speed. He'll be running on contact. Trailing 4-0 to zero right now. Ball one. Ground ball, second baseman plays it nicely, throws it over to first, pulled the first baseman off the bag, but he got back on, and that ends the inning. Again, we threatened, but we did not capitalize. Can't leave all these runners on base. 
Got to start closing in on these great opportunities. We're trailing four to zero. East Coast. In 2006, we founded Yeti Coolers with a simple mission. Build the cooler we use every day if it existed. One that was built for the serious outdoor enthusiasts rather than for mass discount retailers. One that could take the abuse we knew we'd put it through, out in the field and on the water. One that simply wouldn't break. We decided early on that production innovation would come from necessity and first-hand experience, not from market research and data analysis. Today, Yeti products perform when it matters most. Whether that be an excursion into the remote Alaskan wilderness, chasing redfish on the Gold Coast, or just getting together with friends in the backyard, we make gear that helps you stay out longer, travel farther, and live harder. Hashtag built for the wild. We're back live here, University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles trailing four to zero. Number 15 up, Garcia had a single in RBI last time up. Deval Rodriguez coming in relief. Top of the second inning. Throws a strike. Ooh, that should have been another strike outside ball one. I love the way Brandon Riera places the ball once it gets over the plate, but he didn't even have to move because he thought it was a strike as well. There it is. Same exact pitch. Number 15, Matthew Garcia batting 313 on the year. Outside ball two. The pop-up, foul back and out of play, almost hit the light. Saying yesterday on the broadcast, first weekend, University of Fort Lauderdale, J.D. Tibbs broke one of the lights as seen from the natural. Strike three, got him. The whiff. Let's get the strikeout graphic there for all you fans watching at home. The whiff. Garcia goes down on strikes, brings up the catcher, Aparicio. It's a shot up the middle for Aparicio. The catcher gets a single. Crack off the bat. Number 59, the second baseman. Canonis is up. He fly down his first time up, so we have one out here, one on. Trailing four to zero on the top of the third. Really is a nice day, just a little bit windy. Arian Quinones batting 182 on the year. Love to see him get into a double play. He does have good speed. Flied out his first time up. Again, relief pitcher. Duval Rodriguez replaces Brandon Milan in the top of the second. Strike call there. Bishop, the first baseman on deck, outside, ball one. One and one count. Mighty Banyan's got to feel good about themselves, playing the number one team in the country. Split with them at home, and now up to a 4-0 to lead. The shot to center. He came in. Now he's drifting back. Nice job there to find it for the second out of the inning.
two flyouts now for Canonis. Brings up Bishop. The first baseman, number 35. Batting 229 is Avery Bishop on the year. Two outs. Like the way Duval has settled in here. Nice curveball for a strike. Came in. Top of the second. Can't be easy to come in that early into a game. But he's pitched nicely. For the Eagles who went home, white and maroon uniform, swinging a miss in the dirt. Crowd a little quiet. Our dugout's quiet. It's almost like uh, this early start. Guys haven't woken up yet. Ball in the dirt. Nice block by Brandon. Keep the runner at first. One and two, two outs. Top of the second. Our bench is very lackadaisical right now, usually chirping and talking. Need to get them some cel – Coach Billy needs to pass out some Celsius or some energy drinks. Swing and a miss. Duvall gets two strikeouts in the inning, and that brings the bench up. Jacob LaRock leading the charge. Nice piece of pitching there as we go into the – Bottom of the third, trailing four to Liberal zero. arts or ministry? Jumpstart your career today by enrolling at University of Fort Lauderdale, one of South Florida's premier Christian institutes of learning. Whether on campus or through online classes, University of Fort Lauderdale has everything to equip and prepare you for the career you are seeking. We offer associates, bachelor's, and master's degrees in various fields of study through our colleges of business leadership, religious studies, and liberal arts. From Christian in counseling to Christian education, from business administration to criminal justice, from broadcasting and theatrical production to information technology. It's all here, and it's waiting for you. Prepare to meet your future head on. Get started on your career path the right way. Financial aid is available. University of Fort Lauderdale, a place where change happens. For more information, visit us at uftl.ed. We're back live here with Eric Scott leading the charge here. University of Fort Lauderdale trailing 4-0. 0 for 1 on a ground out for Scott. He hit a sharply hit ball to the shortstop. Let's see if Eric can set the tone here. We know once he gets on base, he's borderline unstoppable. 40 stolen bases and 41 attempts. Ball two bounces to the catcher. Two and no count to Eric Scott. Two. Ball three. You do not want to walk the flash. I'm calling the flash because he's so fast and so good at stealing bases. Three balls now to Scott. Again, batting 435 on the year. It's ground ball to short. Going to be a tough play for the shortstop. Makes it. Gets it out. The second ground out by Eric Scott to the shortstop. 0 for 2 with two ground outs. Brings up Anderlin Kubalete. Base on balls his first time up. Batting 329 on the season, walked his first time up. Coach Billy checking with the umpire here. It's 
don't know what I think Coach Billy thought the first baseman kind of uh, he's out. Got to apologize to Andalyn Kubalete. I've been looking for him on Instagram, part of the senior night, and I kept, I just assumed he wasn't on Instagram because I typed in his name and it wouldn't show up. But Coach Billy said, no, he's under a different name. Has many aliases, does Andalyn Kubalete. So I finally found him and was able to post for senior night. So I said, I'm really sorry. I just didn't think you were on. As he takes another ball, two balls, no strikes. Having a great year so far. Batting 329 with 29 runs batted in. Outside for a strike. Questionable call there. Two ball, one strike. University of Fort Lauderdale trying, trying to get through to Griffin here. There's this ground ball to third baseman. Nice play. Makes the out. Ground out for Kubalete. Two outs. Brings up Chris Martin. Had a single his first time up. Batting 391 coming into this game. 31 base on balls. He's been hit by a pitch 12 times. No out, two outs. Martin grounds the third. Going to be a one, two, three inning. Ouch. One, two, three inning. Three up, three down. New College of Florida going into the top of the fourth with a commanding 4 0 lead. We're back live here on YouTube. Thanks so much for joining us. Make sure to subscribe to the UFTL YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up on this particular episode. Deval Rodriguez has come in nicely. Kind of weathered the ship here. Number 37 Fortis gets on. Brings up the top of the order, Peterson. Reached on an error his last time up. Batting 273 on the year. One on, no out here in the top of the fourth. Pitch on the outside for a strike.
Fortis is a threat to run. He has seven stolen bases and nine attempts. The ball goes behind the batter. Has a modest lead at first. Trying to inch his way a little bit. Duval checks him. There's a pitch. And there's another base hit. Be first and second now for number 67, John McIntosh, their best player. Had a double his last time up. McIntosh batting 373 on the year. By far their best player. So after Duval was cruising in relief, it's now first and second. He needs a nice double play ball here. Oh, ball gets by, Brandon. That'll advance the runners. Second and third. And John McIntosh batting 373. 19 or beyond the year. We're going to get a hold of one here. It's ground ball to second. Should score a run. Up. Oh, Moises Garcia bobbles it, throws it, and not in time. An error there by Garcia. It is now 5 to 0. Now, normally you'd panic and say, oh, my goodness, 5-0. But we know with this offense, we could score runs and bunches. And here comes Coach Justin to talk to Duval. Coach Justin moving very slowly, as we mentioned earlier. Pulled two hamstrings in a men's league baseball game. Really, He's really letting into the guys. Probably tell them lack of focus. You know, we're still in this one. Let's get back on track. Can't hear what Justin was saying, but he was very animated. Very animated. Trying to wake the team up. It's been a sluggish outing so far. We don't say that often. For UFTO, it's the number one ranked team in the NCCAA. We may start off slow, but there's always, always people talking, guys lifting each other up. It's a left fielder. Ryland Jemuski batting 319. Struck out and walked so far. What's yours? Foul back and out of play. Number 63, Merck on deck. Top of this batting order is pretty productive. Ground ball down the third baseline, and that's a nice piece of hitting just out of Chris Martin's reach. They're going to send him. We have a relay play here, Scott. Oh, dropped it. That'll score two more runs. It is now seven to zero. Jamiski with a nice piece of hitting down the third base line. Gets a double and scores a run, and this one's foul. Number sixty three Merck is up. Matthew Merck batting two sixty three seven to zero. University of Fort Lauderdale. Trailing by a touchdown right now. 
not going the way we hoped. He hit him. Merck gets hit by a pitch. Brings up number 15, Garcia. Batting 313. We talked about this lineup having some pop. They're showing it today. High right, for ball one. Number 97, Aparicio on deck. The catcher. Love to see Duvall get a double play ball here. Inside. 7-0, something that University of Fort Lauderdale is not used to. It's trailing this big from behind. Outside, it is now a 3-0 count, first and second. Still no outs in the inning. Strike call. Nice comeback pitch there to make it a 3-1 count. And he walked him, ball four. Garcia with the walk. He'll bring up Aparicio, the catcher. Bases loaded now. I think it's going to be all. Coach Billy coming out. I think we're going to have a pitching change. We are trailing seven to zero. University of Fort Lauderdale. Don't forget, on Friday, it is senior night. In 2006, we founded Yeti Coolers with a simple mission. Build the cooler we use every day if it existed. One that was built for the serious outdoor enthusiasts rather than for mass discount retailers. One that could take the abuse we knew we'd put it through, out in the field and on the water. One that simply wouldn't break. We decided early on that production innovation would come from necessity and first-hand experience, not from market research and data analysis. Today, Yeti products perform when it matters most. Whether that be an excursion into the remote Alaskan wilderness, chasing redfish on the Gold Coast, or just getting together with friends in the backyard, we make gear that helps you stay out longer, travel farther, and live harder. Hashtag built for the wild. No, I'm going to take it out at the... We're back live. Pitching change. Avi Lopez with a 2.95 ERA comes into the game. Bases loaded. Is the umpire warning Javi Lopez after one pitch? What is happening?
I have no idea what that was all about. After one pitch, they're talking to Javi Lopez. Bases loaded. No outs. University of Fort Lauderdale trailing 7-0. to zero. Tibbs throws home, gets the out. Aparicio grounded to a fielder's choice, brings up Canonis, the second baseman. One out here. Nice job by Javi to come in and get the ground ball. Nice play by Tibbs to get the first out of the inning. Get a double play here. You got to start feeling good about yourself. Coming into the game with bases loaded and no outs. Very quiet bench for University of Fort Lauderdale right now. Not like us. Very sluggish start. A swing and a miss. Nice job by Javi on the outside corner there to number 59, Canonis, the second baseman, who's batting 182 on the season. There's a shot. Ryan has it. Should be playable. Makes the out. They're going to tag home. And Ryan's got a gun just up the line. Scores the run. Canonis with a productive sacrifice fly. To zero now. They've scored a touchdown and a two point conversion. Brings up number 35, the first baseman, Bishop. Batting 229 on the year. I'll tell you, if Javi could get out of this with just giving up one run, be a nice job of pitching by him. Strike on the outside corner. So I said early on in the game, you know, we've left runners on in each inning, except the third. We had first and third, one out, could not score. We had a man on second, one out, and we could not score as a second strike. Avi wheeling and dealing right now. So when you have a team that has nothing really to lose and you give them confidence as we try to get the pickoff play, I think you got him. No. Try to get him out at third. Chris Martin made a super fast tag. Must have been safe, though, because Coach Billy was right there. And he's not arguing. Coach Billy's like a hawk during these games. Sees everything on the field. Doesn't miss a beat. Get out of play. Still an 0-2 count. Second and third. We are trailing 8-0. to zero. How is that possible? Make sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget on Friday, senior night, come to Oakland Park. It's a fly ball. Could drop. Could drop. And it does. Lucky piece of hitting there. That'll score two runs. With the double. Wow. Had some microphone issues that we fixed, and it's tough outing here for University of Fort Lauderdale as we trail 10 to 0, top of the fourth. But like I said, we are resilient. We have great offense. Hopefully, we can come back one batter at a time. Strike there on the outside corner.
Swing and a miss on the outside. Nice job by Brandon Riera to block that one. Save from getting by him. Swing and a miss. Ends the inning. But the damage has definitely been done. New College of Florida. Up touchdown and a field goal. Up 10-0. to zero. Going to the bottom of the fourth. Need to start tacking on some runs. This is a seven-inning game. We'll be back after these words. East Coast Covers, creator of the Smart Commuter Cover, designs and manufactures custom American handmade quality products. It is the only cover with an adjustable four-toggle locking cord system, which lets you create the fit you want without the need for additional tie-downs. The cover conveniently self-stores when pulled into the attached backpack and also provides a pocket for storing small belongings. Nearly 42 years of riding experience are behind every design with a cover for whatever two wheels you ride. We're back live. Bring up All-American Ryan Reifenberg. Ryan flew out his first time up to the deepest part of left field. Takes a strike there. Ryan batting 311 on the season. 22 RBI, 25 base on balls. Again, flew out his first time up. To the deepest part of left field. If the wind wasn't blowing in, that probably would have been a home run. Ground ball to the first baseman. He'll make it for the first out of the inning. Kind of shell-shocked here. Number one team in the country trailing 10-0. to zero. Things just not going our way right now. Kind of shell-shocked with what's happening to our University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles. But this is what baseball is. It's a marathon, not a sprint. You're not going to win every game. Even the greatest teams, we talked about it yesterday during the softball game. The best team considered by most in college baseball was the Texas Longhorns with Roger Clemens. They went 66-14, and 24-0 in their conference. They were considered by most to be the greatest team ever. Tibbs, mind drive for a single. Tibbs gets us rolling here in the bottom of the fourth. Struck out his first time up on a questionable call. Gets a single now. And I'll bring up Eli Wilhelm, who had a single his first time up. Eli's been great in the field. Now he's been great with the bat as well. Really like the way he's progressed as the season has went on. Ball one. And again, you know, great job by Griffin, the pitcher for the new college Mighty Bandons. Coming in, he had a 6.63 earned run average. And he's held statistically the best offense in the country, UFTL. To no runs. Shocking. So props to him for battling. There's a ball. Good eye. Three balls. Now let's get something doing here. In the bottom of the fourth. You know we could score a run in bunches. Like a basketball team. Just 
scores a ton. We need some of the Connecticut Huskies here. UConn went on a 30-0 run in the Elite Eight as they were men's basketball was playing Illinois. That's what we need. We need some runs. Eli gets jammed. Pops it out to the shortstop. Brings up Brandon Riera, who hit into a fielder's choice his first time up. And then advanced on the wild throw to first, advanced to second. But was left stranded there. Outside back throw to Tibbs. You got to give all the credit in the world to the mighty Banyans. Coming in here, not being intimidated, and they've been aggressive from the first inning. Brandon Riera with a nice base hit up the middle. Good piece of hitting there. That'll take Tibbs to second. And Brandon Riera, field of choice, now a single. Brings up Garcia, batting 292 on the year. Struck out his first time up, and we have a pinch runner again. Daniel Gomez in for the catcher. Nice piece of hitting by Brandon Riera. And we have a pinch hitter now. The man who's back on the graphic, on the YouTube graphic, Jordan Palacios, number 77, batting 375 on the season. Palacios batting 375 on the year. We have a meeting of the minds at the mound. Say that fast three times. Meeting of the minds on the mound. Meeting of the minds on the mound. Okay, that's annoying. I do apologize for that. Palacios batting 385 on the year. We'd love to get a hold of one here. Got Tibbs at second. Got good speed. Daniel Gomez, pinch runner extraordinaire at first. Palacios gets a hold of one here. We could score two runs outside. Good eye. Two no count. Favorable hitters count here. Don't be surprised they get a fastball here, and Palacio drives it into left center. Checks the runner at second. The pitch over the outside part of the plate. Good eye by Palacios. I thought that was a ball he held up, but the umpire called it a strike. Palacios grounds it to first base, and that'll end the inning. University of Fort Lauderdale threatens again, but does not score. We're going to the top of the fifth. Good guys trailing by a touchdown and a field goal.
Dylan Horner will now take the mound for UFTL. They're trailing 10-0. to zero. Some of you may know Dylan from his time spent in the broadcast booth announcing some games early on in the season. Pitch, nice pitch by Dylan for a strike. You know, and some people may say, oh, Monty, you're being too positive. Game's over. No, it's not. We are the number one offense in the country. We've scored 28 runs. We've scored 18. We, we score run, runs in bunches. So a 10-0 lead for most teams, which seems insurmountable, is not insurmountable for UFTL. Now, you know, we got times running out here, but we are not out of this game. I know you're thinking 10-0. to zero, You're crazy. Strike out, but the ball will get by Brandon. So the runner will advance to first. Brings up number 67, McIntosh. Again, has a double RBI base on balls. He is by far their best hitter, batting 373. So what was the strikeout? But now there's a runner on first because the ball got by our catcher, bounced. Tough play for Brandon to stop. Don't forget, 30 minutes after this one, we got a doubleheader. And we will be playing the Mighty Banyans again. Really like the way this team has approached this game. Not being intimidated at all by UFTL. Coming in here and kind of giving it to us right now, giving us the business. Ball in the dirt. He's going to go. Again, McIntosh, who's up right now. Batting 373 on the year. By far their best hitter. Tough sledding here for UFTL. Crowd still coming in. Looking for something to cheer. There's a shot down the right field line. That is going to be fair. That's going to score a run. Nice piece of hitting again. His second double of the day by their best player, McIntosh. Love his swing. There's now 11-0. UFTL. Trailing. Had a nice game so far, too. Number 23, Ryland Jamuski. Unfortunate for Dylan there. He had a strikeout, but the ball bounced and got by him. Catcher, Brandon Riera, to get a runner on first. And now that runner has scored with the nice swinging John McIntosh. What a ball player this kid is. Has a compact swing. Nothing. Very smooth. I'm impressed with this team. They're better than their record is. I'll tell you that. And I think their uniforms have grown on me. I know Min didn't like them, but I think I like them. Ball bounces. Nice block by Brandon. Man, he must take a beating behind. It's got to be rough to be a catcher. Speaking of, you know, getting hit by balls, Katie Atkins, our shortstop, has been hit, I think, 11 times now. Show me the bruise on her calf. My goodness. And she just shook it off. She's like, hey, I got on. But the, her bruise is really, really big. She got hit also yesterday on the elbow. She got hit in the back. It's like there's a target on her. Not like Chris Martin, who's been hit 12 times on the year. Three and one count. No outs here. Top of the fifth. We were uh, trying to figure out the internet problem here that we had yesterday. There's a ground ball to shortstop. Eric Scott 
Gets it, throws it to third, and Chris Martin tags him for the out. What a play by Eric Scott, and what a play by Chris Martin. Did like a twirling, acrobatic play. We saw a couple of innings ago him lay down the quick tag. They called him safe when I thought the runner was out. Eric Scott getting to the ball, saving a potential run. Chris Martin catches it on his backhand, does a twirl, and tags the runner out for the first out of the inning. Great job there by Chris Martin. Brings up number 63, Merck. The designated hitter, Matthew Merck, batting 263 on the season. Single RBI. I think we're going to have a pinch hitter next, too. Michael Manglaka batting 222 on the years on the end on deck circle. One ball, one strike, one out, runner on first. 11 to 0. Bow off his knee. Oh, no. Merck appears to be in a lot of pain there. Hopefully he's okay. I was watching the ball. Appeared to hit off his shin. Rachel, our trainer's out there. Looking at it. Doesn't appear to be, uh, hopefully not too, too serious. Merck definitely wants to stay in this game. You never want to come out of a game when you're leading this big. Uh, limping. Hopefully he's okay. Don't forget, 30 minutes after this one, doubleheader. Will it be a revenge game for our UFTL Eagles? Got some out-of-town baseball scores as Merck, uh, you know, walks off his injury here. Let's check out the out-of-town baseball scores. Brewers, who've started the season sweeping my New York Mets. Brewers are 4 0 on the year. 2 0 over the Twins. A lot of games have been postponed. Braves at White Sox postponed. Detroit Tigers at the Mets postponed. Los Angeles Angels up 4 2 over the Miami Marlins. Texas Rangers 1 0. And Casey Royals versus the Baltimore Orioles delayed. We're going to get into uh, the start of the season. Major League Baseball, right after Dylan makes this pitch. It's a one-two count, one out here. Top of the fifth. Oh, call that a ball. So it's two and two. I just don't understand why every Major League Baseball team doesn't have a collapsible roof. This is 2024, and we still have rainouts. It doesn't make any sense. Two and two count here, and I'll get to my finishing point. It's a shot down the right field line, curling foul. So my point is, if you want to have the the collapsible roof open, again, teams like Colorado, they like playing in the cold. Boston, New York in September, October, start of the season for an advantage, that's fine. Ryan Reifberg going back, going back, should have a play on this one, and he does make the out for the second out of the inning. But my point is, Every Major League Baseball team, they are worth billions of dollars, these owners. Why don't we have collapsible roofs? Uh, you know, I'm not collapsible. Why don't we have roofs that open up? So if it rains, you close the roof. Rain delays are a pain for everyone involved. Everyone involved. You shouldn't have to make up a double header in July and August because you had a rain out. Come on, Major League Baseball. This is 2024. Should not be canceling games because of rain. Okay, number 40, Michael Magliocchia is up, batting 222 on the year. Two outs, top of the fifth. Strike call in the outside corner. So that's my take on it. I don't think there should ever be a rain out, ever, in Major League Baseball. We have the technology. You have the money. Stop being so cheap. Build a roof that can open up and close. And again, if you want to have it open, it should be mandatory. No matter where you live, the roof is open unless it rains. Brandon Riera has appeared to jam his finger. Oh, no, you don't want to see that. 
Brandon coming over to see Rachel, our trainer. Brandon's tough as nails, so you know. Oh. We may have a substitution for Brandon Riera coming out of the game. And that'll be number 36, Ethan Stevens. Coming in to catch, Brandon Riera leaves the game with an injured finger. We'll have to get Shaq, our sideline reporter, to figure out what's going on with Brandon. We are back live, number 36. Ethan Stevens coming in for Brandon Riera, who appeared to have hurt his finger. You hate to see that. Wow, injuries on this team. Chance Muir. Wilbur Javier Vargas. Now Brandon Riera. Three starters on the shelf. And like we said, Brandon's tough as nails, so... You know he wants to be in there. That's a long season. Injuries are going to happen, unfortunately. As Dylan Horner battles back nicely, gets a strikeout. So the University of Fort Lauderdale will come up trailing 11-0 in the bottom of the fifth. Don't forget, this Friday night, we're honoring our seniors. liberal arts or ministry jumpstart your career today by enrolling at university of fort lauderdale one of south florida's premier christian institutes of learning whether on campus or through online classes university of fort lauderdale has everything to equip and prepare you for the career you're seeking we offer associates bachelor's and master's degrees in various fields of study through our colleges of business leadership religious studies and liberal arts from christian counseling to christian education from business administration to criminal justice, from broadcasting and theatrical production to information technology. It's all here, and it's waiting for you. Prepare to meet your future head on. Get started on your career path the right way. Financial aid is available. University of Fort Lauderdale, a place where change happens. For more information, visit us at uftl.ed. We are back live. Anthony Griffin still on the mound, pitching a whale of a game. Been dominating our batters so far. All the credit in the world to him. He came in with an over six earned run average per game. And we have not had the answer so far, but I'm confident we're going to make a run sometime soon. We have to. It's the bottom of the fifth. Only got two more innings left. Gabe Manguel grounded out his first time up, batting 333 coming into this game. People ask me how they can follow me, the Sports Whisperer, on social media. I'll tell you right after this pitch, 1 0 count. You can follow me on social media. Go to my YouTube page. Just started my YouTube page a few months ago. I was working for a media company, started my own YouTube page. We had almost 700,000 views as he takes a strike there. That's the Full Monty Sports Show channel. You can follow me on TikTok, Monty Perez 231, where we have over seven and a half million views in a year, and Monty Perez, where we have 20 million views on Facebook Reels. That's Monty with an E as. Gabe takes a high strike. Those are the ways to follow me and, of course, always support UFTL. 
by subscribing to their YouTube channel. And go check out our UFTL Athletics page on Instagram. Gabe, check swing, call strike three, strikes out. Interviewed uh, some softball players yesterday. Katie Pittman, the catcher, who's been on fire, went five for six to start the doubleheader yesterday. And, of course, Alexa, Lexi Gary, happy birthday to Lexi Gary, our star pitcher, 14 and six on the year, has over 90 strikeouts on the season, five shutouts, and boy, can she hit. Number one on the team in RBI and walks. Talk to her before the game. It is her birthday today. Happy birthday. Brings up Eric Scott. He's grounded out twice. 0 for 2. Two ground outs. Ball on the outside. Like to see Eric Scott really get one into the gap here and stretch it. Doesn't matter, though. If he gets a single, you know he's going to get on second. 40 for 41 in stolen bases. And rumor has it, when he got thrown out at second, he was safe. It was just a bad call. Like the color of his bat, multicolored bat. Two balls, two strikes, one out. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles. We know we can put up numbers and runs in bunches. Going to need to do it here. Eric Scott. Ooh, Coach Billy showing his ballerina days. Coach Billy, people don't know this, was a ballroom dancer in college. And uh, people have talked about him going on, uh, you know, those shows. America's Got Talent. Ballroom dancing. People did not know this. Took ballroom dancing for four years in college. Eric Scott goes down looking. Ball was low. I agree with him. But the umpire didn't agree with us, and that's all that matters. Two out now. Brings up Anderlin Kubelete, 329 on the year, base on balls, and he grounded out. 0 for 2. We are really struggling to manufacture runs. Bounces in the dirt. Be interesting to see how much longer they leave in their pitcher, who, let's be honest, has done a great job. And I mean a great job of pitching right now. Four and two-thirds innings, four strikeouts, only one base on balls. So he's done a very good job of keeping our runners at bay. Although he's in a 3-0 hold count here. Got to assume that Anderlin will be taking this pitch. And he does for ball four. Nice job by Cubalete to draw a second base on balls. Chris Martin. Single in the ground out today. Would love to see a two out rally here. Again, we are in shock. Everyone here in the media booth. This happens. It's a long season. You're not always going to play your best. But what great teams do is even when, the, like we've done, when we haven't played our best, we've still won. That's why we're 29-5 and five on the year. But some days, you know, it's just not there. You know, try to minimize it and try to, you know, we haven't had a significant losing streak. We've only lost five games on the year. At 29 and 5, we usually have a good second game if we play bad the first one. And a lot of this has to go to the pitcher. Yeah, we're not hitting, but give all the credit in the world to this kid, Griffin. Really battled from early on. Got out of some early trouble when we had first and third, runner on second, the first couple innings. And he got out of the inning. So good for him, pitching a great game. Martin pulls out on that one to make it a 2-2 count. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, runner on first. 
University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles with a goose egg here. Zero runs. We have not been swept all season long. Good eye by Martin. I mean, think about this. Chris Martin's batting 391. It's 31 base on balls. If they pitch to this guy, he'd hit 450. But they're constantly not giving him anything to swing at. The scouting report is out. Ball four makes it his 32nd walk of the season. Ryan Reifenberg comes up. Fly out and a single for Ryan. This might be it. For Griffin, I, want, I mean, listen, I think he's pitched well enough to leave him in. Two outs here. He deserves with an 11-0 lead to try to get the runners out. I would leave him in. I want to go to a commercial break, and we'll tell you what they're going to do. Don't forget on Friday. You're near Oakland Park. In 2006, we founded Yeti Coolers with a simple mission. Build the cooler we use every day if it existed. One that was built for the serious outdoor enthusiasts rather than for mass discount retailers. One that could take the abuse we knew we'd put it through, out in the field and on the water. One that simply wouldn't break. We decided early on that production innovation would come from necessity and first-hand experience. We're back live. They did leave him in. And Ryan Reifenberg, the All-American, up at bat. Good job by the manager there to leave him in. I definitely would have. He's obviously earned it, pitching a great game. Our prolific offense has been silenced. So worst case scenario, he gives up a hit here, gives up a run. He's earned the chance to get out of this inning. Reifenberg, ooh, just foul. Ryan Reifenberg, just foul down the third base line. We're one hour and 50 minutes just about into this one after this. Give us about 30 minutes. We will post the link. It should be on our YouTube page. It says Game 2. Nice and easy for you to follow. And if you don't know where that is, I will post it on our UFTL Athletics Twitter page. The link for Game 2. Probably starting 30 minutes after this one. Beautiful day here in Oakland Park. Just very windy. Got the window open here. Reifenberg drives it, going deep into the gap, and that's going to score one. It may score two. Chris Martin, Coach Billy, wave him around. There's going to be a play at the plate. He's going to slide, and he's in there. Ryan Reifenberg, the All-American, coming through in a big way. Two out, double, two RBI. For Ryan Reifenberg, gives him 24 RBIs on the year. All right, Ryan, good for you. J.D. Tibbs up now. Struck out and got a single. It is now 11-2. to two. Put us on the board. You're not going to shut us out. Not happening on our turf. 11-2. Ball on the outside. I really think if Griffin gives a hit here, the manager might take him out. <laughs> it's a solid game so far. Five innings, only two runs. Ryan Reifenberg, just so clutch. Tibbs ground ball. Oh! Third baseman was confused there, was going to step on the bag, but it wasn't a force out. J.D. Tibb grounds out. But University of Fort Lauderdale scores two runs on a blast in the gap by Ryan Reifenberg to make it 11 to 2. Something positive going into this commercial break. University of Fort Lauderdale going into 
the top of the sixth inning, trailing 11 2. East Coast Covers, creator of the Smart Commuter Cover, designs and manufactures custom American handmade quality products. It is the only cover with an adjustable four toggle lock and cord system, which lets you create the fit you want without the need for additional tie downs. The cover conveniently self stores when pulled into the attached backpack and also provides a pocket for storing small belongings. Nearly 42 years of riding experience are behind every design with a cover for whatever two wheels you ride. Top of the sixth inning, we are back. JV on Williams in for Eric Scott. We got some changes here. Number 22, CJ Frezza in for Chris Martin. Coach Billy making wholesale changes. It's a shot in the gap by number 27, Alex Moran. He's on his horse, going to go to third. Triple for Alex Moran, who's pinch hitting. Miguel Santiago on the mound, number 51 for the University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles. The 2.70 earn run average. So a leadoff triple. Again, Santiago. 2.7 earn run average. Pinch hitter. Alex Baran, number 27, comes in and drills a triple. Number seven up now, Adian Orozco. Again, pinch hitting. Both teams substituting, getting ready for the second game. Adrian Orozco only batting 111 on the season. Ground ball. He's going to score a run. Gets past Williams. So it is now 12 to 2. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles taking it on the chin here. Just getting jabbed, jabbed, jabbed. Death by a thousand cuts with these singles and doubles. Not the way we wanted to start the first game of this doubleheader, but this is where you got to be resilient. This is where you got to really a shot into the gap. Nice catch there for the first out of the inning. Again, a bunch of substitutions for UFTL. We'll get to them in a minute. Brings up number 36. Chris Bradburn. Pinch hitter, Chris Badburn, number 36. One out here. Batting 286 on the season. Runner on first, one out. University of Fort Lauderdale trailing 12-2. to two, Down by a touchdown and a field goal. Ten runs.
pitch gets to the backstop. Now runner on second. You know, if we don't come back to win this one, you got to just put it to bed and play the next one. Worst case scenario, we're 29 and 6 on the year, and then we win the next one, we're 30 and 6. If you would have told Coach Billy or anyone in UFTL athletics, if the baseball team would go 30 and 6 at the start of the season, we'd all sign up for it. We knew this team was going to be special. We knew this team was going to have the potential to be great. And right now, swing and a miss for the third strike, second out of the inning. Right now, they are great. They're 29 and 5. So this brings up number 55, Gabe Rangel, batting 185 on the season. New College Mighty Banyan is playing a lot of their reserves now. Resting their guys for the second game of the doubleheader. It is windy, but it's hot out. About 83 degrees in the sun. Sit your starters, prepare them, and possibly sweep the number one team in the country. Something to tell your kids and grandkids about. We swept the team that was number one in the country and the team that has the potential, who knows, to win it all, win the World Series. Sharp ground ball. Throws it. Nice play. Nice recovery. Nice recovery there by number 22, CJ Frezza. Kind of slipped, but got the out. It is now 12-2 to two going into the bottom of the sixth inning. Going into the bottom of the sixth inning. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up for this particular episode. Hasn't been a good day for our heroes, but we are still battling, and we're going to do everything we can to come back. We are back live, coming down to the end of the NBA season two. We got some games tonight. Featured game, Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Boston Celtics. Magic versus Pelicans. I'll tell you, here in Florida, people are really liking this Orlando Magic team who's young and upcoming. Fourth in the Eastern Conference is the Orlando Magic. And the Cavs late at night against the Suns. You got the Memphis Grizzlies versus the Bucks. Got to be honest with you. When they hired Doc Rivers, the Memphis Grizzlies did. I mean, I'm sorry, the Boston Celtics did. When they hired Doc Rivers, I was, you know, lukewarm about it. You know, Doc Rivers hasn't really been an elite coach in a long time. And if you look at the record over the past 31 games, the Bucks record with Adrian Griffin was 30 and 13. The Bucks record under Doc Rivers, 15 and 14. Way too much talent in Milwaukee to go 15 and 14. So that is the NBA for this evening. Going into the bottom of the six. Brings up Eli Wilhelm, who's done a fine job today in the field. Singled and flied out. Eli Wilhelm. Coach Billy said he's been playing very well. Twelve to two, bottom of the sixth inning. It's been a sluggish performance for our University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles. Eli hits one, might have a chance of dropping in. Nope, nice beat on it by the right fielder. Comes in and makes the play for the out. 
So that's the second fly out now for Eli Wilhelm. It's now one for three on the day. And it brings up number 36. Ethan Stevens. Who had to come in for Brandon Riera. Brandon Riera hurt his hand. Ethan Stevens batting 333. And gotta love it being a New Jersey guy. He has shh, you give love a bad name. By Bon Jovi as his theme music. Got a little Bon Jovi, New Jersey boy. Ball bounced in the dirt. Good eye by Ethan. Nice patch there. Wind really picking up here, blowing all over the – as Ethan fouls one up into the first base side, going into the dugout, but he makes a play for the out. So Ethan fouls out. Two outs here in the top of the bottom of the six. Garcia up. Chopper. Going to be a tough play for the shortstop. That's a bobbles it and a single. So the single there brings up number 34, Sergio Madrano. Madrano batting 429 on the year. So fun fact for you going back to uh, get it after this pitch. As a wild pitch, Garcia will advance the second. Fun fact for you. John Bon Jovi, rumor has it, he wrote, you give love a bad name to his ex-girlfriend, Diane Lane, the star in the 80s of The Outsiders and several other movies over the last 30, 40 years. Diane Lane, just a classic, classic actress. But yeah, John Bon Jovi. Wrote, you give love a bad name about Diane Lane. Tell you another funny story, too. Foul back and out of play. There's some commotion going on here because there's some sort of barbecue going on to the left of us. Smoke coming. Don't know if uh, no one's in danger. There's a lot of smoke. You smell the barbecue with the wind. And I think the fire department is going there. Again, not a big fire. Swing and a miss. No one's in jeopardy but we just see it and smell it. Also, uh, Toto had a big hit in the 80s called Rosanna, written by Rosanna Arquette as uh, he gets hit. So it's now first and second. 
Rosanna Arquette. That's who Toto wrote that song about. Number four, Ty Robinson, now in pitching. For the mighty Banyans. Earn run average of 6.35. Now batting number seven. A lot of changes here for UFTL. Javion Williams. Ball in the dirt. We got two outs here, one ball. So, yeah, a lot of these stars, you know, we know Atlantis Morissette wrote that song about her ex-boyfriend who was on Full House. So Patricia Arquette, who used to follow me on social media, told me that story. I did not know that before. Pass ball, nice job. So Rosanna Arquette, that's who Toto, who was dating the actress at the time, wrote the song about. And John Bon Jovi, you give love a bad name. As we see the fire trucks coming to the left part of the track, to put out a barbecue. I have a bottle of water. I think that'll be able to do it. Don't need, think we need the fire on <laughs> the truck. It's not that big of a deal. But safety first, always important. Outside. So, Diane Lane, you give love a bad name. If you take anything away from this game, that will be it. Ground ball, just foul. Got second and third here, trailing 12 to 2. In the bottom of the six, Coach Billy going to his some of his uh, reserves. And uh, we're threatening here with two outs. Williams with a sharp hit ground ball to shortstop. Should be playable. Makes the throw for the final out of the inning. Again, we threatened but did not score any runs. Nice job of pitching by the entire new College of Florida. Mighty Banyans going to the top of the seventh. Good guys trailing by a touchdown and a field goal. We're trailing by 10 runs. Unfamiliar territory for us. In 2006, we founded Yeti Coolers with a simple mission. Build the cooler we use every day if it existed. One that was built for the serious outdoor enthusiasts rather than for mass discount retailers. One that could take the abuse we knew we'd put it through, out in the field and on the water. One that simply wouldn't break. We decided early on that production innovation would come from necessity and first-hand experience, not from market research and data analysis. Today, Yeti products perform when it matters most. Whether that be an excursion into the remote Alaskan wilderness, chasing redfish on the Gold Coast, or just getting together with friends in the backyard, we make gear that helps you stay out longer, travel farther, and live harder. Hashtag built for the wild. Back live here. Tonight's billion dollar jackpot. $1.9 billion. Powerball here in Florida. $1.9 billion. We're going to the top of the seventh. University of Fort Lauderdale. Not only battling the new college of Florida Mighty Banyans. But we're battling the fire that's going on to the left of the left field fence. Smell the barbecue. It's, it is so windy. So we smell the um, fire. No one's in jeopardy, but you definitely smell it. Okay. So new pitcher now for UFTL. Dominic DeMilo, number 35. Pitching now for UFTL. 2-0 count. 
Definitely smell the fire. The tree's burning. Thank goodness for the fire department. Back up to DeMilo. Dominic plays it, throws it to first for the first out of the inning. Brings up number two, JT Lianos. Batting 292 on the season. <clears throat> One out here, top of the seventh. Shocker, if you're just joining us. Down 12 to 2. Not like us at all. But over the course of a long season, baseball, these games are going to happen. Inside ball, high heat there by Dominic. Over the course of a season, games like this unfortunately happen to even the best teams. Kitty Atkins and Cam Rawlison joining us here in the media booth. How's the uh, attitude down there from the dugout? No one was talking, huh? Pretty dead. They should be fired up and anxious to play the second game. And number two up pinch hitting, JT Lianos. Batting 292 draws a walk. And another substitution. Number 15, 50, Anson Grumman. Batting. Inside ball one. Runner on first. Twelve to two, University of Fort Lauderdale trailing the Eagles. Not flying high today. Ground ball. Throws it to second, gets him out over to first. Oh, he calls him safe. Nice attempt there. Very nice attempt by Garrett Lindberger to try to throw the double play. Just not enough on the throw. Runner was sprinting full speed. He made a very good play. Try to get him out. Unfortunately, only got one. So there's now two outs. Number 40, Michael Maglioka is batting for New College of Florida. Batting 222 on the season. There's a shot down the right field line, hooking foul. We will be live 30 minutes after this game. So unless we mount a historic comeback, should be starting probably around 4 p.m. Eastern time. There's a shot coming in. Makes the catch. No. Dropped it. Thought he caught it. He did. He's saying he did catch it. The umpire saying no. Neither umpire or second baseman moved to get into position to actually see the catch. No hustle whatsoever on the umpires on that particular play. Number 97, Aiden Aparicio, the catcher. Had a single, fielder's choice. Very impressed with the way, uh, even though their record is not great, again, 11 and 19, for some reason, they play great against us. Sometimes you just have those matchups that, you know, don't favor you. But New College of Florida, despite a losing record, they could hang their hat and say, hey, that number one team, we played them very well. They beat us, actually. Last week, they split the doubleheader with us. And taking us to us here, 12 to 2. Got to find some offensive answers or as my friend in Canada say my friend Bill got to find the offensive answers 
See what I did there, Katie? I went international. See what I did there? Yeah, that's what I do. Two balls, one strike, two outs. Stay tuned for the seventh inning, bottom of the seventh. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles, we can score runs in bunches, so this game is not over yet. Two balls, two strikes. Dominic trying to get out of the inning. Throws a little side on the outside. Three and two. Looks like the fire has subsided. Someone brought a water bottle over there and put it out. Ball four, bases loaded. For number seven, Adrian Osasco. Batting 111 on the year. Would love to get a hit in RBI. Two outs. Runners will be going on contact. High ball one. Just felt like we were running in quicksand today or running in mud. Just sluggish. One step slow. Half a fraction off. There's a shot. Fouled and out of play. Just never in sync at all today. Never in sync. Nice pitch there to make it a one two count. Appreciate it. Swing and a miss. Gets out of the inning. Nice job. Gets out of the inning. But it is 12 to 2. Going to the bottom of the seventh. Stick around. Do we have a miracle comeback? We've been known to score runs in bunches. Could happen. liberal arts or ministry jumpstart your career today by enrolling at university of fort lauderdale one of south florida's premier christian institutes of learning whether on campus or through online classes university of fort lauderdale has everything to equip and prepare you for the career you are seeking we offer associates bachelor's and master's degrees in various fields of study through our colleges of business leadership religious studies and liberal arts from christian counseling to christian education from business administration to criminal justice, from broadcasting and theatrical production to information technology. It's all here, and it's waiting for you. Prepare to meet your future head on. Get started on your career path the right way. Financial aid is available. University of Fort Lauderdale, a place where change happens. For more information, visit us at uftl.ed. Live here, University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles trailing 12 to 2 here. Trying to ra get a rally going. Something positive to take into next game. 
Kubalete up. Base on balls, ground out, and a base on balls for him. Been on base two out of the three times he's been up. Trying to get something going here in the bottom of the seventh. High ball. Kubalete looking to get on base for the third time today. And he has two base on balls, grounds out, and grounded out. Outside strike. New pitcher in now. Number 65. Roy. Pigaro, here in three games, has a 17 ERA. Gives up two touchdowns and a field goals when he's on the mound. And Kubalete with his third walk of the day. Good for him. Number 22, CJ Frezza. Limited bats for CJ, but he is batting 500 in the limited time he's had. Pass ball. There you go. Kubalete to the second. Let's get something going here. Told you guys not to tune out yet, just yet. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles trying to muster up a rally. The ball. And what a time to do it. High drama in the bottom of the seventh. Not yet. But runner on second. 2-0 count. C.J. Frezza looking to drive one here. Win picking up. Ball three. Good eye. You got to take here now. Take two times at least. Let's get some runs. Get some runners. Nice job by Fre oh he thought it was I thought it was a ball too. Let's well, say nice job by Fresa drawing the walk, but the umpire maybe he's got a lunch date. Wants to get out of here. Called the strike. Frezza with a gapper. Nice job. Going to score a run. CJ Frezza with an RBI. Kubalete scores. It is now 12 to 3. Let's get some. Let's get some. Ryan Reitberg, who had a monster shot into left field, caught at the warning track. Then a two-out double. Brought in two RBI for Ryan on the day. Wind really picking up here. Oof, almost knocked the camera over. Foul back, 0-2 oh, count. You know, Ryan's batting 311, and most people would... That's a career year for most people. But if you know Ryan, how competitive he is, he wants to get that average up. He wants to do more. Such a solid five-tool player. It's ground ball to short here. Bobbled. Second over to first. Not in time. Fielder's choice for Ryan. So, again, he's batting 311, which is phenomenal. But he wants that average up a little higher. And I'm sure he'll get there. The way he plays. Brings up John Pincotti, number 23, batting 333 on the year. It's 12 to 3, one out here in the bottom of the seventh. I'd like to see Pincotti get a hold of one here and have Ryan go first to third. Start putting some doubt into the minds of the mighty Banyans in their light brown mustard and blue uniforms. 
Mustard yellow. There it is. Pincotti gets a nice hit to left field. Ryan will stop at third. Pincotti with the double. All right, we got something brewing here. Brings up Eli Wilhelm. Single fly out and fly out. Batting 308 on the season. We got something brewing here. Jacob the Rock saying, come on, Eli, make him come to you with these pitches. Pitcher struggled to find the plate. And when he gets it over the plate, we've hit the ball hard. There's a shot to the first base side, and he catches it. Oh, he got jammed. Eli not happy with that one. Kind of check swinged it. And it brings up pinch hit Powell. Drew Powell. Pinch hitting. 28 at bats. Has 12 RBI on the season. 28 at bats, 12 RBI. That is production, my friend. And that's why we call him Pinch It Powell, Drew Powell. One of the long list of seniors that we're celebrating. If you look at the graphic here on the screen, senior night. Drew Powell, Josh Crawford, J.D. Tibbs, Brandon Pelletier, and Anderlin Kubalete on senior night. Drew Powell with the draw. Oh, he hit it sharply. But right at the second base, that was a nice at bat for Drew. Hit the ball hard. But unfortunately, lined right out. Drew's not happy. UFTL not happy. We lose 12 to 2. 12 to 3. I'm sorry. 12 to 3. Tough loss. Going to have to come back. We have not been swept all year long. So hopefully, guys regroup and come back with an absolute, absolute mindset of we will not be swept. Thanks so much for watching. We're going to post the second link on Twitter. We'll be back in about 30 minutes. In the immortal words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, we'll be back.